OH cuties. It is Tuesday, March 20th, the first day of spring. Yes, the Vern Troyer Equinox is here. And what better way to celebrate than with another nor'easter coming our way. What's the deal with nor'easters? Do they come from the northeast? I never heard of a nor'wester or a sou'easter. What happens when there's a nor'easter on Easter? Is it called an Easter Easter? And that concludes the observational comedy portion of today's show. Time now for the quizzical portion of HQ, the live mobile game show where you answer questions to win cash. I'm your presenter, front and center, Scott Rogowski, AKA former NFL All-Pro, Navy Lieutenant Commander, and Supreme Court Justice Byron Quizzer White. Whizzing through this quiz today with all 600 and 30,000 plus of you, including Lanny Lapkin, Emily from Philly, Noah R. Salad, Josh Creek, Matt Scarano, Andrew King, I Justine, yes, that I Justine, and our very own Nick Gallo, all putting candles on the cake today. Happy birthday, everybody. Are you join us for the first time, you know how this works? Yeah, well, yes, it's 12 questions. I asked 12 questions, you gotta answer them all to win money, real money, could be yours. How much? Let me tell you, 5,000 Dan Uglas, 5,000 Dan Yorgs, 5,000 dollar bills. That can afford you the world's worst back tattoo. Like literally the worst. Just as the phoenix rose from the ashes and landed on Ben Affleck's back, so too can you rise to the top of HQ today. Get those wings flapping, kiddos. We're about to take off. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's get this show on the road. Cumero numero uno. In the US, a massive amount of gold is kept where? Frozen food aisle, Fort Knox, or Louisiana swamplands. There's the gold. The gold. There's gold in them hills. It's a fortified vault in Kentucky holding the United States' gold bullion reserve and it's Louise Linton's favorite vacation spot, Fort Knox, baby! Fort Knox, it's a Fort Knox life for us and the 622,654 of you who are fortified with vitamin Q, blue moon of Kentucky, keep on shining to Q2. By definition, what type of singing is usually done without any instrumental accompaniment, piano recital, acapella, or string quartet? No instruments. What kind of singing do you do without instruments? It's Italian for in the manner of the chapel because it originally was used in religious music. Now it's used on college campuses as a means for enabling dweebs to hook up acapella. Shout out Rockapella, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? 596,900 of you are pitch perfect today for Q3. Which of these is the name of an actual room in the White House? China room, balloon room, or yoga room? It's an actual room designated with this name in the White House. Been around for a while now. There might be a balloon room for the president these days. You know, having a stressful day, go play with some balloons. But it's not an official designation, no. However, the White House keeps their fancy plates in the China room. China, China room, 478,680. No, a nice place for a spot of tea could be the China room. Take your China doll to Q5. What is the name for a word that came directly into English from another language? Theft word, gift word, or loan word? Comes untranslated from another language into English. When English develops a similar word for the same roots as a foreign word, those are considered cognate words. But when a word arrives on our shores utterly untranslated, it is a loan word. Loan word is your answer, and looky here, Lucky Pie Pie, a savage question on Q4. I believe we do. We lost nearly uh, 300,000 of you on that one. Loan word is your answer. Examples include schadenfreude, hoi polloi, faux pas. These are words other languages have given to us. Savage, not a loan word. That's our word and it's your word today. 178,561, getting Q5. What is the official language of the tiny nation between France and Spain? Catalan, French, or Spanish? The teensy tiny, wee little speck of land, that tax haven nestled in the Pyrenees, is called Andorra. So small that even map heads can miss it. But not me, I've been there. I've been to Andorra, I've skied. Well, no, I didn't ski. I just saw the skiing. They speak English, Spanish, 
French, but officially speaking, the language spoken is Catalan, a distinct language originating in nearby Catalonia. 123,091 are saying ens nanem, which is let's go, vamos, to Q6. Technically, all licensed US dentists are also officially what? Orthodontists, dental surgeons, or private practitioners. All US dentists are also what? All orthodontists might be dentists, but not all dentists are orthodontists. That's a specialty working with corrective treatments like braces and retainers. But all dentists are also dental surgeons. You know that DDS after dentist? Doctor of Dental Surgery. That's what that stands for, 46,999. Looking good for this one, getting your teeth clean, no plaque on you. The rest of you are anti-dentite. Starts with a few jokes and slurs. Next thing you know, they should have their own schools. 46,999 getting Q7. Which of these people is most likely to have a mutation in their melanocortin-1 receptor? Receptor, Julianne Moore, John Hamm, or Lucy Liu? Melanocortin-1 receptor. Lindsay Lohan, Prince Harry, and this actress are just a few of our favorite mutants. The MC1R gene, which contributes to pigmentation, is thought to be the reason for red hair, of which Julianne Moore has a lovely collection on top of her head there. 17,357 saying red hair don't care. They got Hair Force One today. Hair today, gone tomorrow for Q. Hey, which of these teams won a Stanley Cup before the NHL was founded? Montreal, Canadiens, Boston Bruins, or the Toronto Maple Leafs? Yes, before the NHL, there was the NHA, the National Hockey Association. And in 1916, thanks to a winning goal by Goldie Progers, the the cup, you could be hoisting the HQ Cup today. There was a Toronto team back then that they were called the Blue Shirts, and their owner was so disliked, it's what spurred the other owners to form the NHL. Another fun fact for you. Q9, which of these television shows was not based on a British series? Say yes to the dress, wife swap, or trading spaces. Not based on a British show. You know, so many shows start in the UK, and then we get them, like The Office, like Trading Space. Dresses? That is American. Say yes to the dress. 3,758 going to Kleinfeld, saying yes to the quiz, saying I do to the next Q, which is Q10. The terms of Amazon's web services contain a clause regarding potential attacks by what? Zombies, Google, or underage hackers? Web services, terms and conditions, you know those things you just gloss over completely? You click agree, you don't even read them? Well, you should, because there could be some funny tidbits in there, like Article 5710 of Amazon's updated terms and conditions as of 2016, which states that customers are off the hook if a viral infection, quote, causes human corpses to reanimate and seek to consume living human flesh. I'm talking about zombies. 2,447 are crawling along to Q11, that's one less thing to worry about. Thank you, Amazon. Two more Qs to worry about for the 2,447 left today. Q11, what distinction does airline Handley Page Transport have? First in-flight movie, first to serve a meal, or first to check a bag? Zahambe, 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 eh, eh. Handley Page has the distinction of ceasing operations in 1924. But while they were in business on October 11th, 1919, they had another distinction, becoming the first airline to serve a meal. Yes, passengers flying from London to Paris could have bought a box lunch for three shillings and 1,083 of you are left after that one for the final round today, Q12. It all boils down to this $5,000 could be one by some of the 1,083 of you left in the game today. Let's get to a Q12. Which of these famous TV judges got their start in criminal court? Greg Mathis, Judy Scheinland, or Joe Brown? You know these TV judges? They all started in different ways. They ended up on TV, but where do they start? 
Judge Dude, Judge Judy, 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 Judge Judy started out in family court in Manhattan, not criminal court. Judge Greg Mathis, who headed Jesse Jackson's 1988 presidential campaign in Michigan, was a 36th district court judge in that state, but only the Honorable Judge Joe Brown banged his first gavel in state criminal court. That is your answer, and 396 of you are our winners, baby! <laughs> All right, for the 396 winners today, here come the judge, here come the judge, here come the judge. 396 HQD splitting $5,000 breaks down to 12 bucks and 62 or 63 cents to real Aragorn. T Bram 820, Pepper Cat 8 with a dog in there. Okay, Nolan Garabo, LeGrec. Ray Gannis, Twinkerbell 4, with a cute dog as well. A lot of dogs in the Abbeys today. $12.62, maybe you can get a, a little small tattoo. Get a, get a tattoo of Ben Affleck's back, like this big on your wrist. That's what you can do, maybe. I don't know what tattoos cost, I don't have them. Hey, come back tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern time if you wanna play again and win some more money perhaps. Maybe you can work up to that tattoo, you know, build a sleeve, why not? 9 p.m. Eastern time tonight, I'll be here, will you? I'm Scott Rogowski signing off. Until then saying, you're out there somewhere, Beer Baron, and I will find you. No, you won't. Yes, I will. Woo!